Hello guys, it is Savannah Montega and I did want to make, this is a long overdue video, I wanted to make a sit down video talking about just like a message that I could give to people that are losing weight as somebody who has lost 70 pounds. I'll put my before and after picture on the screen for y'all. Um, I am like so humbled that I lost the weight. I've always struggled with weight loss my entire childhood. It was like up and down like uh, looking at my parents, my parents didn't have good eating habits on top of their shit ass marriage. It was like there was food problems all in the house. <laughs> so I wanted to make a sit down video um, kind of like talking about weight loss and just like something that I really wish that I would have known and I wish that more people would know about it. So I do kind of like want to like get to the point rather than dragging everything out. I have some things planned, but for the most part, I just thought I'd wing it. So one thing that I would say as somebody who has lost 70 pounds is when we talk about like confidence and being like a secured person. Yeah, just because you lose weight, it doesn't mean that like all that stuff will like magically disappear because all that stuff is like a massive mental state. Um, now me personally, I have struggled with like insecurities before and whatnot, but definitely I wouldn't say that I'm an insecure person because I'm not, uh, but I do know what it's like to be insecure, but, um, I would say even during my weight loss, I just, I mean, I might've been like a little bit, but I'm pretty secure. I would, I'd say like I'm fairly a secured, uh, girl, but something that like more people need to know because also... My sister used to be overweight, my mom used to be overweight, my mom's still losing weight, my sister has already lost her weight. So I didn't want to talk about that because like, even when I talk to them, it's something that I did let them know, like, like insecurities like are still gonna like be around and whatnot, and that's something that they can both agree to because we all just kind of have a mentality that if we lose weight and like we kind of look a certain way, then like that mentality like shouldn't exist anymore, but like it's, that's just not true. So, uh, yeah, like, that stuff, that's all, like, a mental state. You losing weight and you, you know, doing whatever with your fitness goals or your journey, like, it's not gonna, like, disappear because, like I said, like, that's all in your mentality, you know? So that's something that I do wish, like, more people were to know. Also, crazy things about weight loss. I want to talk about crazy things about weight loss because this is stuff that, um kind of shocked me a little bit so one crazy thing about weight loss uh with having like people treat you different like some people question is that real some people don't know about it uh people do treat you differently i feel like people were definitely not as flirty or friendly when i was you know 220 pounds so to me that's crazy and also like pretty privilege definitely does exist because I'm allowed to like flirt with people and actually get a response rather than if I was 220 pounds it's like I couldn't do that. Also I do notice that I get looked at more when I tell you it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Like don't, I don't, I will stick to my guns when I say if you weren't looking at me then and you know me now and you want to look at me now, I don't jive with you at all. Like, I don't even want to have shit to do with you because one thing that irks me is, like, I cannot stand that now that I've lost the weight, it's like I get way more compliments. I don't jive with that at all. Because, like, how are you going to do me like that? Like, that's wrong. <laughs> like, that's not right. Like, it's so sad because, like, when we're big... It's like we have all this insecurity and something that I wish I would have known is I wish I just did whatever I wanted to do because like that's so sad that people recognize like being skinny as being pretty and being skinny as being healthy. It's like that stuff just doesn't exist. Like that's wild that people want to like be nice to me now. Like I don't like it at all. Like I get like to some aspect what I mean by that is like I do dress cuter I feel like when I did lose weight I was able to dress how I wanted which isn't right but like my personal like uh, security of what I was comfortable with doing is something that I factor in when I talk about that so um I do notice now a lot people like look at me and whatnot and I would say for the most part with that is being how I do dress and where I live. I do live in boot looking south, okay? Nobody has fashion or style here, so so I dress very cutesy. I dress very like, not like um, how other people around me dress. So I can understand the attention that I get from that, 
but when I talk about like the attention what I mean is like talking about males and specifically it's like I turn heads a lot more again if I was wearing the same thing I already know I would not have been turning heads in the positive sense but now that I've lost the weight it's like I do get more attention and that's weird okay I don't jive with it it's weird I do like flirting I do like uh you know some of the attention and whatnot but like it's how I receive it that I don't jive with most of it like it's just wrong like I was cute then and I'm cute now it's like I always kept that mentality uh because I went through a lot at school and whatnot so I had to think for myself you know like I never compared myself to others I always knew that I looked good even though I was a bigger person like you know things like that really just I just think it's crazy and you know that's one of the message that I do want to send to people that are you know bigger people or people that are like losing weight is that like you look good you know what I'm saying uh also something that I'm fixing to say which might be controversial and I don't care y'all y'all are crazy like y'all need to like realize that y'all got some things going on up here because y'all that glorify your weight loss y'all are disgusting i cannot tell you how many videos i have seen and like creators that i followed because like i wanted like inspiration on like workouts or meals and y'all are wild man they will straight up like talk about like they'll just like sit there right and they'll they're like flexing and shit and they're they'll make these audios talk about they're better now and then they'll like degrade what they were I will always be humbled because I know what got me here was that bigger person. That mentality shaped who I am today. So I'm forever grateful that, like, I'm not so, like, weird like y'all. Like, that's crazy, man. Like, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, if you go on, like, TikTok and you watch, like, fitness and, like, weight loss, like, anything in, like, the fitness industry, y'all are crazy. Like, that's not good. That's not good to have a mentality of, I'm better now because I'm fit. And then you degrade who you were before. Like, if I can show videos, I definitely would. I don't want to say, like, no hate to those creators, but also I don't mind because, like, that's crazy. Like, y'all need to realize that who you were before, that bigger person or that very skinny girl, like, whatever, you know, you were before, that's what got you to where you are now. Or that's what's going to get you to who you are in the future. So, the fact that y'all degrade yourself so much as to being, like, you're better now all because you're skinnier or you're more fit. Like, that's just not right. Like, I will never, I will never do that because that's crazy. Like, y'all are wild for some of the things that y'all do. Like, God. Crazy gal. Crazy gal. Okay, uh, so something that actually does factor in with what I just said is how it does change your perspective and your mentality. Um, now for me, I can talk about this, but like, I, I always knew that when I lost the weight and like no matter how I looked or like what fitness goal I decided to go with, um, I always knew that I was not going to sit there and degrade people because you're bigger than me. Never, never, ever, 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 okay? If you can guess, my content is weight loss, it's fitness, I show you all my workout videos, like I show you what I eat, I show you recipes. I will never sit here and act like I'm better than you all because I lost weight or all because I'm smaller than you. That's weird mentality. That's weird. Y'all are weird, okay? <laughs> like, how I'm gonna put it is, yes, I did lose weight, I'm proud of myself, but also, come a little closer, because I literally just lost weight. Like, if you notice when I say it, it doesn't sound like anything special, because it's really not. You know what I'm saying? Like, all I did was lose weight. It doesn't make me better than you, it doesn't make me healthier than you. Like, I know I'm ranting a little bit, but it's because I really wish, I wish somebody would have like talked about this stuff like I wish I wish <laughs> somebody would have like clarified on some things because like y'all the things that I see is wild it's wild and like I wish that I was like that type of gutsy that would call it out but it's like I and it's stupid but like I just don't want like the drama about it but I also don't want people to be misguided so I feel like one day I'm probably gonna call these creators out because like it's so messed up like what you do is wrong 
because this is literally how people build like eating disorders and they have like fucking body disorders because y'all make out like because you lost weight or because you did whatever achievement it is you're better than what you were before crazy that's crazy so i know this video probably was not long and honestly i didn't want to make this video long i kind of wanted to get to the point of it but like pretty much the structure of what i wanted to talk about i did talk about because just know that like be on a journey do whatever you want like if you want to lose weight lose it if you don't don't if you want to gain weight gain it like oh like who cares you know uh yeah you're gonna receive judgment baby i receive judgment i received judgment too like that it's just something that happens for specifically for a content creator like me who does want to be full-time and i show y'all what i eat i show y'all my physique update like well, I can't show now because I'm wearing, um, uh, what do you call that? Shaper right now, but, yeah, somebody who does what I do, like, uh, of course, like, you're gonna have people to, like, point out your body, and you're gonna have people to say, like, how did you lose weight when you eat, like, crap and things, like, ridiculous things, because some people have such a bad judgment when it comes to weight loss, it's absolutely sad. I mean, honestly, I can't really say, like, anything else except it's really sad because like we are kind of taught and like we reciprocate it as like if you lose weight then you pretty much eat salads or you don't eat a lot or you know you eat boring foods i would tell you this when i lost weight i ate good and i do share all recipes of like a spicy chicken recipe or like a, a canes wrap recipe like I show y'all healthy recipes that really work for me and i know that will work for you that's why i try to show y'all as much as i can but, um, yeah, I think a lot of things like that are really sad, but I'm just, I just wanted to make a video kind of talking about things that are just crazy, like, I mean, like, y'all are so beautiful, and I wish more people knew that you're beautiful, like, all of us have things, you know what I'm saying, like, we all have things, some of us have a smaller butt, some of us have a bigger thigh, some of us, you know, want big thighs, some of us want smaller thighs, like, we all have a goal, so I say let's just achieve it and let's just like go about it properly if that's what you want to do. You know, don't be harsh on yourself and that's something that I do try to talk about in my videos of like, you know, relax, like eat what you want. Like even as somebody who lost weight, like I still eat chocolate, I still like eat junk. I mean, hell, I just put out a vacation video and I didn't eat healthy through the whole time I was there. <laughs> it's like, that's fine, like be relaxed and whatnot. Uh, you don't have to eat healthy every day. I mean, I do eat for weight loss, but that doesn't mean that I lose weight every day. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a few things that factor into weight loss. I eat clean every day, uh, but not like clean, clean. Like, I eat healthy. I eat in moderation. I eat in good portions. So it's like, you know, that's kind of like the gist of what I do. Um, but yeah, I just really wanted to like talk to y'all about a message that I really wish more people losing weight would hear. Uh, and would just know. Uh, I know this was a very short video, but like I said, I just wanted to get to the point. I know I rambled a little bit, but not really ramble. I kind of ranted on some things. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's literally all I have for today. If you're interested in what I do, I make weight loss content. I make fitness content. I also do some vlogging and whatnot uh, because that's just what I do as a content creator. But I do stick to weight loss and lifestyle content. So I do take out there my workout routines. I have follow along workouts. If you're interested in that, definitely go check it out. And that is all I have for this video. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Purr, bitch. <laughs>